Shalom, Shalom, Israel. First and foremost, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the mighty Akim and Akwath out there who are diligently waiting to be delivered from his final captivity. And today's topic is going to be entitled, Playing by Their Rules Doesn't Work. Now, the reason why I'm going into this or what inspired me to do this lesson today is I remembered this anime that I saw, I believe, last year. Now, initially, I was not interested in this. And I never saw this as a kid. This was a very old anime. And the only reason why I watched it last year at the time was because I heard some... Basically, it was like a kind of a reverse thing, which is ironic. Uh... It's about these two guys. This guy. Uh, hold on. This guy whose name is Suzaku. And this guy whose name is Lelouch. Okay. This guy Lelouch is a Britain. Britain. Britannian. Okay. Basically. I guess. An American. I, I think this, that's like the best. That That's basically what, what it's um, a parallel of. And he is Japanese. This Suzaku is Japanese, as you know, J Japanese is a real thing. But they swapped um, American with Britannian, Britannian, or whatever. I guess taking from Great Britain or whatever. You know that, like Brit Britannia, Britannia, uh, Slaki. I'm just gonna call it Brit. Okay. So yeah, this is a uh, Britannian, Britannian. Empire, this Britannian people, all right. Now, I this guy Lush is a Britannian, Britannian, and he's fighting with the Japanese to overthrow the Britannians. This guy is a Japanese who's fighting against the Japanese to keep the Japanese subjugated. Subjugation. The action of bringing someone or someone or something under domination or control. Okay. I'll just close that. So, yeah, basically, um, going into it a little bit more, going into the plot a little bit more, um, it's basically, so, um, Lelouch sees, oh, wow. I slack you. Ah, there was a war, okay? And... Lelouch had basically was not in his um not with his uh his people and he's hiding out pretending to be a Japanese he's and whatnot. Uh Suzaku the Japanese the Japanese main character. I'm just gonna call them as they are. So so people so people can, you know, keep track. But the Japanese main character he is basically like a police officer initially, uh, working, you know, for the government and whatnot. Um, basically, to cut a long story short, um, the the Brit, the Brit main character is saying these Brits are evil. They need to be taken down. Everyone, let's. Ban all Japanese let's band together and take down these Brits. The Japanese is basically the Japanese main character is saying, "No, we can't do that. We what we need to do, I need to go and work my way up so I can be uh, a high-ranking officer or whatever, and then I can change it from within. Okay, and then I can make oh true peace. Now and then." Okay, like this is this is where the the funny part in because this is pretty funny to me. The Britannian Britannian is saying that that's impossible, but the Japanese is saying that it is possible. Okay, so then as the story progresses, the Japanese main character actually gets to you know that high-ranking position 
that he was aiming for. And then he doesn't fucking do what he said he was going to do. He just goes full-fledged, joins the opposite side, joins the the opposing team, and becomes borderline just as evil as they are. As they as they are, okay. So, like, on like this 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 is this is what led me to, you know, actually appreciating, you know, the fact that, um, number one, uh, if you look look at stuff like this, okay, in this video, let me move it so you guys can know. This is a video done last year all right they're basically talking about uh oh black so-called black people struggling to make it and whatnot oh it's 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 all bad and whatnot and then you have i I want them to uh, add slokia basically it's um they're protect the things it's uh slokia basically this one woman called Cynthia in this video is saying, "Oh, we need to go and do basically everything that uh, that one guy was saying that he wanted to do. Go in, be a part of the society, and then you know do stuff as a part of the society." This wo- this woman right here, the one with the uh, whatever thing, the woman on the far, the old woman on the far right. Or the middle of the thing. So basically she she was saying, oh, we need to play their game. Be a part of their society so that we, so that they can accept us and then we can be at peace and whatnot. But you see, the thing, the problem is, the, look at how many, how, there are a bunch of uh, so-called black people already in um put, Positions of thing. Let's actually Google that. Actually, um, what is it? Why don't you say ethnically diverse so far? Is it Congress or is it Senate? I'm trying to think of the, like the most. Minorities in Senate. Eleven so-called black senators. And then Congress has a bunch of... God damn. Slocky, but like, wow. Okay. Like, <laughs> okay, no. This further proves... My point and how she's wrong. Okay, and then in all the comments, you can literally just randomly scroll. I'm gonna go scroll randomly because I was looking for my comment, which I can't find. But scroll randomly, and someone is going to dick ride this bitch. Okay, so I scrolled randomly. Uh, this is why elders are so important. Cynthia had so much knowledge. Okay, let's let, let me show you who is Cynthia out of these. Um, there, fuck. But they're basically saying, oh, Cynthia's so wise, Cynthia's so this, oh, Cynthia's so smart, oh, Cynthia's saying all the right, this is Cynthia, okay? So now you know the person that I fucking hate when, uh, if... And when I go, keep on going back into this. Oh, Cynthia made the room silent when she brought up the system not letting go of you once it knows you. Such wisdom. Okay, I don't know. I don't know what that's in reference to. It's been a long time since I saw this video. But um, the main thing is she she does not have she does not have wisdom. And oh, there was another thing. Uh, what is it? Okay, let me get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. I need to I need to get this. Okay, right here. Okay, they were uh 
I don't want to keep. I don't want to make this video l too long by um, you know searching through the video. So basically, look at looking at this quote. The leaders are here. I don't think you recognize them because they're sitting next to you. So basically, what and you can go watch the video for yourself. But basically, she's saying that the leaders, the current the uh, current leaders or the future leaders, whatever, whichever, or both, are the so-called present day or next generation of um, so-called black people for the black community, which by extension also does include the Hispanic and the Native American community. But, you know, it's a lot easier for me to just say, well, I guess I can just say Israelite community. But basically, so the for the Israelite community, um, for the Israelite community, the new, the current leaders to make life better for the next generation or the next you know the 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 children of israel that are like what 10 years old right now to make their lives better it falls on it falls into the adults of the the israelite adults now to make things better for them for their children in the future but you see the another another issue with that is the fact that so if that is the case, then you failed as an elder because so all Israelites are still being gunned down. Israelites are still suffering now today. So that means you didn't do your part and you're just saying, okay, well, fuck you. Go handle your own problem right now. The, I will tell you what to do, even though it didn't fucking work for me. Obviously, look at how things turned out. So just follow what I, follow my dumbass. Follow what my dumbass did, and then you won't you won't succeed. Like, are, and these people are dick riding her. They're, these people are saying she's smart. Oh, she's wise. Oh, she's Cynthia was the only one of the entire group with facts based on logic, reason, data, all this. But it doesn't fucking work. It doesn't work. Like, are you serious? Really? Really? Cynthia's is wise. Cynthia has to be has got to be the wisest person I've ever seen hands down. Please, I I implore you, please, please go watch this video by yourself. Okay, she is such a fucking hypocrite because nothing. She has she, sh her saying all that bullshit. And yet, look at the position that we're still in. She didn't do her job. She didn't make a change. And yet, everyone's supposed to follow after her when she failed. Right? But this, but this is the wise. This is the wise. This is the, uh, the, uh, the smart. This is the logic. This is the reasoning. This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. I hate, I, I hate her. It's lucky. I... <laughs> no, no. I I was about I was about to correct myself, but no. It is okay to hate wicked people. All right. It's yeah. I hope that okay. No, it did not. I hated them for the wickedness. Ah, <clears throat> uh, Slothia. Yeah. Uh, there was one specific verse I was looking for. I trying to remember see the Lord you that love the Lord hate evil I guess maybe it is evil maybe it's evil I think this might be it Okay, Slakia. Um, I 
Alright, so Psalm chapter 97, verse 10. Ye that love the Lord hate evil. He pres preserveth the souls of his saints. He delivereth them out of the hand of the wicked. Okay? So, oh, this is a perfect, uh, a perfect verse. Okay? If ye that love the Lord, you hate evil. Meaning that you hate all, you hate the the fact that, oh, we were, gen the Israelites were genocided. The Israelites were um, basically ensla enslaved, raped, robbed, murdered. All, all this, all these wickedness that these um, heathens have done to us, not just the Edomites, all the, um, all the heathens, okay? All, all the heathens that took part in it, we hate them. We hate them because they, they are the evil that, you know, took place in order to, uh, I guess, subjugate them, as I used the word in, from earlier. And, uh, if at loving the Lord and hating evil, uh, the Most High is going to deliver the um, those that love Him and hate evil out of the hand of the wicked. Okay, so very soon that's what the um, that's what His saints are waiting for to be delivered from this from this final captivity that we're in Babylon right now. We're waiting to be delivered out of it. Okay. And then have um, the Most High put uh, the righteous ruler, Yahweh Shai, on the earth. All right. In Proverbs chapter 8, verse 13, the fear of the Most High is to hate evil, pride, and arrogancy, and the evil way. And forward mouth do I hate. Okay. Just once again, just hating evil in general. All right. So, so she, like, and it's not even just her. In general, you got a lot of Uncle Toms that, which there are a lot of Uncle Toms in this comment section, okay? A, there are also, you know, Edomite Devil's uh, dick writing, because that's what they want. That's how they, that's, they, that's basically the, uh, the model the so-called model black person that they want other, not even model, not even just so-called black people, but quote-unquote minorities in general to follow after. They want um, everyone to have this, mental, this mentality that it's not the people that did the rape, rob, and murder's fault. It's the people, it's the victim's fault. They, they're victim blamed. They like, Hearing victim, they like the victims blaming themselves and saying that, oh, as victims, we need to do something to fix our own thing. Like even with stuff like Black Wall, Sh Black Wall Street, okay, you know, we were brought down because even when we tried to do something on our own, it was taken down. All right. Um. But uh, where is I going to next? I don't think I need these anymore. Um. Oh yeah, Slakia. Um. Basically, so yeah, there's a bunch of Congress. It, there's a bunch of Slakia. Uh, what the heck? There's a bunch of so-called black, so-called minorities in, you know, the government system but at the end of the day it does not matter because things still haven't changed you know you still have um what's it called Gentrifi gentrification freaking so-called um black people getting stopped by the cops and gunned down by the cops and whatnot killed unrighteously murdered uh what else um it just you know uh a, a, a bad time a bad time, a bad life for um, being an Israelite, okay? You know, like, all that, all that crap is still going strong, all right? But, but, uh, oh, but, um, the future leaders, the future leaders, it's their, it's your, it's your problem. It's your problem now. Fuck the fact that I didn't do anything. Fuck the fact that, you know, all this crap that I'm preaching out my ass is 
not worth a damn because it doesn't work. All right? And, well, yeah. Um, Isaiah chapter 10 from the top. Woe to them that decree unrighteous decrees and that right, and that right grievousness which they have prescribed. Okay? Uh, uh, the unrighteous decrees that um, a lot of... Um, Oh, one of the things that she was saying, um, this all, all of this is um, reminding me more. It's the uh, what's it called? What's it called? What was it called? Um, voter laws. Okay. So while number while number one, you know, Israel should not be voting at all because voting does not mean jack squat. They have done stuff like um, what was it? Um, they specifically asked. When do, when and where do black people uh, vote? Give me the the data on those times. And then they want to invalidate those votes. So they got, they specifically got, okay, when do the black people vote? Okay, let's get, give me all that data. And then, and then let's invalidate all the um, votes from those areas but at the same time they're going to say oh it's not that's not racially mo motivated it didn't say n no black votes are counted or anything like that but they specifically targeted and i shit you not this is a literally what i heard people debating on these are literal this is a literal talking point where someone said because it doesn't say black votes are invalid it's not racially mo motivated even though they asked when and where or give me the information on when black people go to vote okay that's literally what what was said that was literally the information that was gathered prior to getting you know getting coming to their conclusion of let's invalidate these votes all right so on top so that is uh their unrighteous unrighteous decree where they want to you know uh what's it called i guess to con continue to use the same word invalidate the quote unquote voices which once again i must reiterate voting does not count the vote the um voices so called non existent voices that at the end of the day, do not really truly matter, okay? Because uh, what's it called? An, one of the one of the major reasons that you that we know uh, voting does not count is because if you go to um, what's it called? Go to who won the popular vote between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Let's actually go to it right now. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Um, Donald Trump won the president pres presidential election in 2016. Okay, but Hillary Clinton won 2.1% more of the popular vote than elected president Donald Trump in 2016. Okay, so let just uh, uh, I hope. They have it. What is this? All right, popular. What does popular voting, voting mean? Direct popular election, an election in which people vote directly for the candidate that they want. Popular vote in an indirect election is the total number of votes received in the first uh, first phase election, as opposed to the votes casted by those elected to take part in the final election. Okay, so now let me break this down right quick hold on so the presidential election is a two-part thing apparently okay 
So the first thing is a popular popular vote, which is everyone, every single citizen that vote, they put their votes in and they say, oh, I want this president. Oh, no, I want this president and whatnot. So at the end of each individual citizen voting, okay, in 2016, Hillary had more votes in terms of each individual voting for her. It was 2.1%, but it was still more votes than Donald Trump. But there is a, there's another phase where there are people, elect, there's uh, elected officials that vote on behalf of the people that already voted. So people do go in and vote, Yes, but that voting does not matter very clearly because Hillary won the popular vote and she still lost the election. Okay, so I, I really do not know how clear, how more, how much more clear I could be. All right, so like, um. Yeah, like I said, voting does not uh, mean jack shit. And you have, again, this this woman just saying, oh, play th their game. Do what they're doing. Go uh, be a part of them and then make a change. Fuck you guys. You need to, to go do, do as I say. Go do as I say and go and succeed where I failed. Even though it's not going to work. It's a system made for you to not work. That's that unrighteous decree. That why, the, why would you have everyone go out and vote if all their votes didn't matter? Okay? Like, that doesn't make any sense. And how, how can people still be going and saying, Oh, you guys have to vote. You have to vote. Oh, but it didn't even matter. It lit I think it was like the first day they already declared Trump the winner. Like as soon as the voting started, he was already declared the winner. Like are, are you serious right now? This is so dumb. But uh Proverbs chapter 17 verse 15, he that justifieth the wicked and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to the most high okay so that you have these uncle toms these which i heard that uncle tom isn't really an uncle tom so i'm gonna change that to coon these coons okay i, I don't know the story on the uncle tom that's a, another that's another um study session but um these coons they are just you know dick riding these Edomites, okay, they're dick writing all these heathens, saying that they they can do no wrong, they've done no wrong. Oh, slavery didn't happen. Fucking Steve Harvey, Steve. Oh my. Oh man. This this type of stuff. Hearing this type of stuff just makes me like it gives me a headache, and then it makes me mad. All right. Um, he that condemned the just. All these people saying, all these coons that are demonizing Israelites, the um, Israelites on the street corners, you know, actually preaching this truth and demonizing people like people that are actually, you know, saying, actually pointing out that uh, the so called white man is the devil. Them demonizing them, they are an abomination to the Most High. Okay. How, how, how can you. How can you side, not Slakia, how can you demonize someone who is standing up for people that are being treated like garbage? How can you just turn a blind eye to the injustice that's happening to your people? All right. But that's, hey, that's the most high. He blinded the eyes of these, of these wicked people. All right. First John chapter two, 
Verse 15, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Okay? Meaning, uh, loving... Yes, loving the world... Well, it it mean, it does... It basically means loving, you know, Esau. Esau, at the end of the day. Because Esau is the one that... Um, has made brought this world to what it is now to be in all honesty it, as in um oh homosexuality is okay you know they're they're slowly but surely you know trying to make pedophilia okay i heard that they're aiming to get a few states where pedophilia is legal or whatever or they're they're going to let pedophiles that got arrested for pedophilia go or something like that but um and by pedophilia it's like like you know like 10 and younger or whatever like stuff like that all right and um you know a, a lot of times when uh a so-called when when a cop you know unrighteously kills a so-called um black person you know, they get off like very easily. Oh, take some take some vacation time with pay, okay? And it, it it just it just like how how can you love living in a world like this, okay? But then when I wish I really wish I remembered um, the exact story or had a link or whatever. But when uh when a freaking coon gets pulled over. Then oh, what what's up now? What's up now? Oh, don't worry, don't worry, um, don't worry, massa. I'm not like those, those other niggas. Uh, you you know I, I know I look like a criminal, but I'm not really a criminal. Like these people, <sighs> Slakia. You know, just at the end of the day, you know, they are they want you to follow follow after and copy they want you to follow justify and say oh uh the um edomites did nothing wrong okay oh it's the only the only people to blame we have to blame ourselves for all that is going on okay even though they did it to us we still have to we have to deal with it we have to um, you know, fix things up, okay? And I wouldn't, I don't recommend watching this. It's not really much to, there's not really much to, you know, get from it. I just did it because I did it, I basically did it for you, okay? And at the end of the day, my, um, my real conclusion is it, it's, yes, it's kind of spiritual, in order to see, like, how, I, I guess, this Japanese person, who, who, who is in his, um, in his little world, in his work of fiction, is the oppressed, as the Israelites are oppressed in, you know, in real life, okay? Um, him acting as a coon, and then we have actual coons that think just like him, Okay? And they actually think that, oh, things are going to, we can actually make a change. But when they actually get to that position of power, they, nothing changes. And at, the end of the, and, and, and at the end of the day, they become just like the people that oppress them. Okay, so yes, this is a work of fiction, but there's, you know, real truth to it. Because as I showed, there's a bunch of so-called black people, there are a bunch of minorities in congress already in senate and nothing's changed like there's no that you still have so-called black people being gunned down by the police like when if a police decide a police officer decides to you know pull a gun out on a so-called black man for no reason at all that black that so-called um is that israelite okay that israelite they do not have anything to do they like they are literally at the mercy of that cop and if that cop 
is just crazy or whatever, they can they will just die. Okay, if that's the will of the Most High. All right. So, you know, at, yeah. At the end of the day, it's it's all it's all you can gain you can gain lessons from them from anywhere. Like as I, you know, basically talk about with this, but um, you know. It's not, it's not, I would not say it's worth a watch and, you know, um, following, playing by their rules, it does not really bear fruit. That's, that's like the main, that's like the main, uh, takeaway that I want to say from this video. And with that being said, I want to give all honor, glory, and praises to the Most High Yahweh by Hashem HaMashiach Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone. But I want to say shalom.